Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Efim Gela and Max Juve that was played in Zurich in 1953. And where is Zurich? Zurich is the city in Switzerland. In this game Efim Gela had white pieces and he started with d4. You played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, and we have Nimzo Indian defense. Gela played e3, and that is the most popular move in this position. What are the other moves that white plays? Queen to c2 is sometimes played, to avoid doubling of the pawns when bishop captures knight. Sometimes knight to f3 is played, sometimes f3, or bishop to g5, or a3 immediately, and sometimes g3. But e3 is the most popular and must be because it is a good move. And now it's black to move and black played c5 and that is also the most played move in this position. Other moves are castling kingside or b6. So we have c5, a3 attacking bishop and black captured on c3. Pawn takes bishop. So white has a bishop pair but damaged pawn structure. Black played b6, bishop to d3, bishop to b7 attacking pawn on g2. White can play knight to f3 but then black can play bishop to e4 or even knight to e4. So in our game after bishop to b7 white played f3. Knight to c6, knight to e2, black castled kingside and white castled kingside. Knight to a5. Black is after the pawn on c4. e4. Threat is bishop to g5, pinning knight. So black played knight to e8. Bishop can't go to g5 now. So black can even play f6 if he wants to, or even f5. Knight to g3. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and rook to c8, with clear intention to win the pawn on c4. And how should white defend the pawn? Well, white ignored the threat. He played f4, saying to black, not in words, saying to black, take the pawn if you dare. I am going to give you checkmate. And black accepted the challenge. Knight takes on c4, f5, that is maybe even f6, so black played f6, rook to f4, rook is coming to h4 and queen is coming to h5 and as you can see it could be problem for black. And the black's position looks difficult. How should black continue? How would you continue if you had black pieces? That's difficult, isn't it? B5 was played in the game and that is a very good move. Why? Pawn is defending knight. No, that is not the reason. The reason is that queen is now coming to B6 to attack the pawn on D4. Rook to H4 queen to b6. Queen is attacking the pawn. e5. Rook is defending the pawn and threat is pawn takes pawn and bishop takes on h7. But black captured pawn on e5 and black is two pawns up. Pawn takes pawn, threat is bishop takes on h7, so black captured bishop Queen takes on d3 and threat is queen takes pawn on h7. And how should 
black defend the pawn? Well, first move that comes to mind is h6. This wasn't played in the game, but let's check what would happen. Then e7 can be played, attacking rook. After rook to f7, knight to f5. And after, for example, queen to e6, even bishop takes pawn on h6 is possible. And the black king would have hard time. In the game, black made a cool move. He captured pawn on e6 and allowed white to capture with queen on h7. This is check. King to f7, bishop to h6, and it is black to move. I think that move that comes to mind is rook to g8 or something like that. We have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the move that black played in this position. It is very difficult one to find. But you can try. Ready? What did you find? Did you find queen to d5? That is not a bad move. No bad at all if you did find that one. Probably white would play rook to e4. But in the game black found a spectacular move. Rook to h8 attacking queen actually sacrificing the rook because nothing protects the rook. But let's see what would happen if white didn't capture the rook. If, for example, queen to d3 is played. Then rook takes bishop and black is winning a piece. So in the game, white captured rook. So the question is, why did black sacrifice the rook? Remember, queen was on h7. Queen was protecting c2 from rook, which is now on c8. And c2 is not protected now. And the threat is, rook takes pawn on g2. If king goes to h1, rook takes on g3, discover check, and it leads to checkmate. After rook to g2, if king goes to f1, then queen to c4 also leads to checkmate. White is in trouble. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. How should white defend? Ready? First, I will show you the move that white played. That is rook to c1. After rook takes on g2, white queen can't go to c4. But this is not the best move. What is the best move? The best move was found after the game. And that is d5. d5 is saving the game, believe it or not. How? Well, now black must decide how to capture that pawn with queen or with bishop. Let's say he takes with queen. And then how would white respond? Queen, sorry, rook to e4. Rook and queen are attacking a knight. And so this doesn't work anymore. If Rook takes on g2 check, king takes rook. So then we come to conclusion then that after d5, bishop takes pawn on d5 is better. And then how should white continue? Rook to d1. And after rook takes on g2 check, king to f1. And now 
queen would like to come to c4 but she can't jump over the bishop so after the logical move rook to a8 white would be in the game for example bishop to d2 and the battle would continue however in our game we have rook to c1 rook takes pawn on g2 check if king goes to h1 then rook takes on g3 discover check after say d5 check after rook to e4 checkmate so then king must go to f1 so queen would like to come to c4 but it's controlled by rook so queen to b3 and how should white continue queen bishop and rook on h file can't help at all neither can knight on g3 nor rook on c1 so poor king had to go for a walk black made a move and white resigned what would you play in this position max you played queen to f3 threat is queen to f2 check and after king goes to d1 check if knight blocks rook takes knight checkmate so in this position fm gela resigned what an incredible game what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now